Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on assessment of discretization schemes. So, in the last lecture we uh, talked about the uh, traits of the uh, different type of discretization schemes, we talked about the uh, upwind differencing scheme, we talked about uh, the uh, you know uh, hybrid differencing scheme, power law scheme and uh, even the quick scheme. Uh, so, in this lecture we will uh, try to understand by um, uh, you know by looking into a problem and we will see that how they are you know solved and how we get you know the um, uh, solution uh, you know how these uh, um, uh, results which uh, we get by using these differencing schemes for different cases especially uh, when you have uh, the uh, variation of the packlet number. Uh, because of the uh, convection component. So, how the uh, different uh, you know differencing schemes uh, you know they are able to predict uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the result and, and that how they match with the analytical result. So, that we will uh, see in this uh, lecture. So, we will uh, talk about uh, a problem. So, uh, that in, in, a, in a problem in that uh, you know uh, we have a uh, property phi which are you know that is uh, transported by means of the uh, uh, you know convection and uh, diffusion. So, uh, for this uh, you know phi uh, and uh, that is uh, for a one dimensional case. So, uh, so, it is uh, a problem through the, so uh, of the convection and diffusion through uh, one dimensional domain uh, and uh, uh, you know so you have you know this way your uh, phi is uh, transported and uh, you have the conditions which is given. Now, your u is uh, you know in, in this direction. Now, here uh, this is your x is uh, 0 and this is x is uh, 1 and uh, the value of phi it is uh, taken as 1 at this uh, uh, end and it is taken as uh, uh, you know 0 at this end. So, these are the two you know boundary conditions. So, you have uh, the so boundary conditions are uh, phi 0 is 1 and phi 1 is uh, you know uh, so, uh, so this is uh, at x equal to 0. And, uh, and then you have uh, phi l will be uh, 0 at uh, x equal to l. So, um, uh, you know this is uh, uh, the boundary condition. Now, uh, what happens that in this case we will see that how we find the control volume. So, we will have the uh, number of control volumes in this uh, uh, domain and then we will uh, try to assess that how you know the uh, different uh, uh, schemes uh, they are able to uh, you know uh, predict the result which is and uh, how much it is close to the analytical result. And we are going to have uh, that, uh, so we are going to have the, cal the calculate the distribution of phi and uh, as a function of x and for the two case and one in one case we are taking u as 0 0.1 meter per second and uh, in the another case uh, we are taking the u as 2.5 meter per second. So, these are uh, you know the uh, uh, two cases and uh, you know as you see that your length is given as 1 meter rho is uh, uh, you know 1 kg per meter cube and uh, tau is given as 0 0.1 kg per meter second. So, this way uh, you have uh, 
uh, these values. So, that will be used for finding the f and d and uh, the first job will be to have the uh, you know to, to, to have the formation of the control volumes. So, uh, so this is for uh, case 1 u is 0 0.1 meter per second and for case 2 2.5. So, as you see that the velocity is very much increased. So, convection uh, term will dominate into it in this case and then accordingly peculate number will also change. Uh, that also is a function of d x also. So, uh, if you change the uh, number of points or number of control volumes that way also peculate number is you know uh, has the uh, effect anyway. But uh, uh, we will start with uh, having the uh, 5 control volumes. So, we will divide this whole domain uh, into uh, 5 control uh, volumes. So, divide the domain. So, uh, this uh, domain is divided uh, you know into 5, uh, five control volumes. So, if you divide this and uh, length is uh, uh, 1 meter. So, in that case the delta x becomes uh, 1 by 5. So, that is 0 0.2 meter. So, once you have delta 0 0.2 meter in that case you can have the uh, you can have the calculation of other things like f is uh, rho into u then uh, d will be uh, tau upon dx so uh, you know based upon the value of tau you can have the value of d also being calculated uh, you will have the uh, value of fe or fw that will be equal to f and similarly d equal to dw that will be equal to uh, d that is uh, you know uh, everywhere. Now, uh, what we need to you know uh, uh, calculate in, in this case is that uh, you have uh, you know you will use these uh, uh, differencing schemes and, and you will be uh, calculating. Now, uh, what we see that uh, when we use uh, the uh, central differencing scheme. Now, uh, in that case uh, we know that you have uh, uh, you get one expression for uh, phi p in terms of uh, the uh, phi w and phi e and uh, also you have uh, the uh, source term also uh, uh, coming to uh, picture. So, uh, you know what we will do that uh, uh, next. Uh, so, your uh, 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 domain will be looking like this. So, you will have uh, this point uh, on the uh, side. So, this will be x equal to 0 and this will be x equal to 1. You have this point as A and this point as B. Now, uh, you have uh, uh, 5 points. So, 1, uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, uh, you will have uh, uh, 5 uh, control volumes uh, will be formed like this. So, control volume is formed so that the boundary is uh, uh, matching with uh, the uh, you know uh, the outer boundaries. So, so that way you, you form these uh, control volumes you are getting uh, you know this is uh, how you are uh, getting the uh, control uh, volume. So, uh, we get these uh, you know 5 control volumes. Now, uh, what we have already studied so far uh, earlier that uh, we will have uh, the uh, similar type of uh, expression for uh, uh, you know for, for uh, the nodes uh, 2, 3 and 4 whereas, for uh, 1 and 5 uh, we will have uh, the uh, somewhat different uh, expression because of the uh, you know because of finding uh, the value at, at this point. So, uh, if you uh, take the uh, node 1 you know at, at node 1 if you uh, use node 1 you will be having the uh, you know uh, expression that is f e by 2 into phi uh, e plus phi p and then uh, you will have uh, the uh, expression that is uh, 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 on the other side. So, you will have uh, f a phi a 
and that will be uh, equal to again you will have uh, the uh, value at the east. So, it will be you know, phi e minus phi p and then uh, you will have d a that will be uh, phi p minus phi a and phi a value uh, is known here and uh, uh, that is uh, uh, anyway uh, given. So, uh, if you uh, use those values, so uh, accordingly you will have uh, the expression for this. Now, uh, similarly if you go for uh, the uh, node b, you will have the uh, you know uh, b point that will be coming out. So, for node 5, you will have uh, the f b phi b then you will have minus f w by 2. So, that will be uh, phi p plus uh, you know uh, phi w. So, you know uh, that uh, because uh, you are having this as suppose any 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 one you this is 1 this is 2 or so. So, you can have this as the waste and uh, then uh, you will have uh, this is the waste phase. And, uh, if you take uh, you know this, so this will be your P and this will be your east face and this will be your east node or so. So, F B uh, phi B. So, once you go to the fifth node in that case uh, you will have that F B. So, F B phi B minus F W by 2 and uh, that will be phi P plus phi W. It will be uh, coming as uh, you know D B of uh, phi B minus uh, phi P and uh, similarly you will have uh, the d w and uh, phi p minus uh, phi w. So, these are the uh, two equations which you get uh, you know at the extreme uh, you know 1 and uh, uh, 5 and uh, you know at other uh, points uh, you will have the a p phi p will be uh, a e phi e plus a w phi w plus uh, source term. So, uh, you will have uh, other, other at other places you will have a p phi p that will be uh, you know a w uh, phi w plus uh, a e phi e and then you have the source term. So, uh, what you see if you uh, do the rearrangement uh, you get uh, the expressions for the or, or, or for every node and uh, node wise you will have the value of a w a e a p and uh, then uh, you have s p and uh, s u. So, uh, uh, if you uh, rearrange them you will be uh, getting those values. So, if you uh, do the uh, rearrangement you will have uh, the node here and uh, similarly you will have the a w then you have a e and uh, then you have s p and s u that is your uh, once you linearize the uh, source term. So, for node 1 your uh, a w becomes 0 a e becomes d minus f by 2. Similarly, you will have uh, the s p as minus of 2 d plus f and then you will have uh, the uh, you know uh, um, the s source term uh, you know so s u that will be 2 d plus f into phi a. So, that will be there at the node 1 and similarly at node 5 you will have d plus f by 2 and this will be 0 this will be minus of 2 d minus f and you will have 2 d minus f into you know phi b and uh, that is because of the boundary conditions which are imparted if you uh, uh, go for uh, you know uh, by go by uh, you know working on that equation. So, you will get this expression and for 2, 3 and 4 you will have uh, the expression that is d plus f by 2 d minus f by 2 and you will have this 0 and 0 that is what the common in uh, that a p plus a p phi p will be uh, you know a w phi w plus uh, a phi e. So, that is what uh, uh, you are getting d plus f by 2 and d minus f by 2 in these two cases. Now, if you uh, employ the uh, boundary conditions and uh, if you go for the uh, case 1. So, suppose for case 1 where you have u as 0 0.1 meter per second and as you see that uh, your f will be rho u. So, it will be 0 0.1.
similarly d will be tau upon uh, dx so it will be uh, 0 0.1 by 0. Point, uh, you know uh, 0 0.2 so, uh, dx is uh, anyway uh, 0 0.2 because you have uh, length is uh, 1 and uh, there are 5 control volumes. So, it will be 0 0.2. So, you will have uh, this is 0 0.5. So, in this case uh, you can have you know uh, the uh, if you go for these nodes you will have the value of a w a e. So, you once you know the value of d and f. So, from here you can uh, get these uh, you know uh, value of the uh, these uh, coefficients and uh, and then these two coefficients will be put in terms of the uh, uh, matrix so you will have uh, so if you take uh, the uh, you know if you try to find the uh, node and, and that will be node will be 1 2 3 4 5 so for one you know aw is uh, uh, 0 so anyway your uh, a w becomes uh, 0. Similarly, for 2, 3, 4 and uh, 2 and 3 and 4 it is d plus uh, uh, f by 2. So, d is 0. 0.5 and f by 2 is 0. 0.05. So, it will be 0. 0.55. So, 0. 0.55 will be there for these 3 numbers and then uh, for fifth uh, it will be d plus f by uh, 2 again. So, it will be 0. 0.55. Similarly, uh, if you go for a e, so you can have the calculation of a e again. So, this will be d minus f by 2. So, it will be 0 0.45 that will be 0 0.45 also 2 3 4 it will be 0 0.45 and then last will be uh, 0. So, then if you go similarly you go for s uh, u. So, s u also you can have 2 d plus f into phi a and phi a uh, you know. So, uh, accordingly you can have uh, the values. So, you will have uh, uh, the uh, values like 1.15 a something uh, like that and uh, um, you know so that is uh, uh, SU. So, 2 d plus f 2 into d is so 1 plus uh, 0 0.1 1.1 phi a. So, that way it will uh, go and uh, then uh, for the uh, 2, 3 and uh, 4 it will be uh, 0, 0, 0 and similarly in the end you will have minus 0 0.9 and similarly you have S p. So, S p will be again. So, you can calculate these uh, values and uh, you will have uh, the, uh, the different values that will be uh, you know uh, for S u it will be minus 0 point. So, this will be 0 0.9 uh, you know 5 b and for S p you will have minus 0 0.9. So, you can uh, what I mean to say that A p will be uh, and you can get A p, A p as uh, you know A w plus uh, A e minus S p. So, that uh, can be calculated from uh, here directly you can have the uh, uh, values of uh, you know uh, the uh, A w, A e and uh, the S p. S p is, uh, is minus 1.1. So, accordingly you can have the value of the uh, a p. Now, what do you mean to say that? So, a p will be coming as 1.55. Similarly, you have 1, you have 1 here, you have 1 here and 1.45. So, that you can um, uh, you know calculate yourself and you have uh, you know, one uh, you know values in that table. Now, uh, this uh, you know leads to the formation of a uh, matrix and uh, then that matrix basically you have all these uh, you know uh, values. So, you will have the uh, values accordingly you have as you go and uh, then that will be multiplied with the uh, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi 4 and phi 5 and uh, accordingly uh, you will have the um, you know uh, values. So, if you uh, take the uh, you know phi a as uh, equal to 1. So, for phi a equal to 1 and, uh, and phi b equal to 0. So, you will have again the expression you will have 1.1 0 0 0 and 0. So, accordingly uh, you have uh, to get the uh, solution of this uh, phi 1 phi 2 phi 3. So, phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 5 4 and 5 5 is uh, you know computed 
and you get uh, the uh, values uh, you know uh, using that central uh, differencing scheme. Now, uh, uh, similarly now the thing is that uh, the problem is that uh, uh, we have to know that how much it is getting closer to the analytical solution. And uh, uh, when it was uh, you know compared with the analytical solution, so analytical solution is anyway uh, given for uh, you know uh, this. And uh, when the uh, it was compared with the analytical solution, so it was seen that uh, there is a uh, match you know uh, in this case. So, it, it uh, comes like this. So, you will have uh, you know uh, phi value uh, 1 here and uh, uh, you know if you so if this is you are getting with the central differencing. So, with exact also it uh, matches if you are taking the central differencing. Now, what is uh, uh, seen the problem is here is uh, you know the problem which can be seen later will be because of the case 2 which we will be dealing. Now, if suppose we deal with the uh, case 2 now uh, in this case. So, if you go to the uh, case 2 in that case u becomes uh, you know uh, larger. So, in that case you your u becomes 2.5 meter per second. So, uh, your uh, f becomes uh, rho u that is 2.5 and d will be uh, tau upon uh, d x. So, it will be uh, 0 0.5. Now, if you look at the uh, peclet number uh, you know f by d. So, f by d will be uh, 2.5 by 0 0.5 that is about 5. Now, in this case uh, again you will be uh, getting the uh, uh, same uh, you know uh, matrix and if you try to further solve. So, in this in that case uh, the uh, and if you try to uh, compare it with the analytical solution the solution is seen to be the analytical solution is uh, seen to be uh, here. So, you have phi here. So, one is uh, uh, there and uh, uh, on this side you have uh, distance. So, you in on this side distance also it is 1. Now, in this case uh, this is your uh, exact solution and uh, if you uh, try to uh, do it through the central differencing for this condition the, the result which is found is basically it uh, comes like uh, uh, this it is reported uh, you know by, uh, by in this manner. So, uh, what you see that uh, uh, this result is uh, you know uh, uh, it is very much far from the uh, uh, exact solution. So, the value is somewhere under predicted and it is over predicted like that. So, there is uh, you know suiting of uh, uh, these results and this result is showing that when you have a convection dominated flow uh, in that case uh, uh, your uh, you know this uh, uh, what you see is that uh, uh, it is not able to uh, predict properly because of the flow. So, it is inability is there of the central differencing scheme uh, to predict the uh, flow in that case. Now, uh, what you can uh, what has been seen that uh, if you are uh, solving this problem by taking delta x uh, to be uh, smaller or if you take suppose you take the case 3 with 20 nodes. So, with 20 nodes uh, you know uh, what will happen that the, uh, the width delta x control volume width will be uh, smaller. So, the delta x will be uh, you know so earlier you had the uh, you know you had the delta x 1 by 5 0 0.2. Now, uh, you know delta x becomes uh, you know uh, uh, less. So, it will be 1 by 20. So, it will be 0 0.05. Now, uh, in this case uh, if you uh, do that uh, uh, analysis and if you can further uh, find the values you, you write the matrix and solve it what has been seen is that uh, your uh, you know equation in the same uh, uh, you know uh, same result was seen to be. So, if it, this is the exact now in this case uh, it was uh, found to be very uh, close uh, there will be there is not complete uh, 
you know matching at all the point, but it is uh, very much uh, you know uh, close it was uh, seen to be. Now, that is because you see that uh, the peculate number that was f uh, um, by d. So, f uh, into uh, del d x by uh, tau and uh, if you uh, see the uh, you know uh, the value of the uh, peculate number it becomes uh, very small and in, in that case uh, you know even uh, uh, so even for the higher velocity case of uh, uh, 2.5 meter per second you are uh, getting uh, very close result to the uh, you know uh, to the analytical results. So, that is the you know effect of uh, the uh, you know uh, number of nodes which uh, uh, you are increasing uh, and uh, that way you are getting a uh, closer result. Now, uh, same uh, problem when um, it is done with uh, uh, the other you know higher order schemes or, or other schemes like uh, the uh, upwind scheme. Now, uh, in the case of uh, you know upwind scheme uh, even with uh, the uh, smaller uh, nodes uh, uh, and also with the um, you know for uh, the uh, you know for case 1 where the uh, velocity is uh, very small it, it is said to seem to uh, be matching, but even if uh, you know when uh, we are uh, where you have uh, the large shooting scene in the case of uh, larger uh, velocity values, the upwind differencing scheme seems to be uh, matching because uh, uh, you know matching with the analytical close match is uh, uh, seen in the case of uh, the uh, upwind differencing scheme. You know because when the peculate number is uh, uh, higher in that case uh, uh, you know the upwind differencing scheme uh, uh, will work better and uh, 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 with the lower number of grids also the closeness uh, which is maintained will be uh, you know smaller. So, what has been seen? So, so basically uh, what we have uh, seen in this lecture that uh, you can um, try with uh, the other uh, you know differencing schemes and just see that how your result is uh, matching with the uh, the analytical value which is uh, you know uh, uh, which uh, uh, has been uh, you know given. So, uh, so basically the analytical value if you look at the uh, you know problem uh, there. So, anyway analytical value you know it has been uh, uh, you have to compare the results with that analytical value and that is uh, basically given as phi minus phi naught divided by phi l minus phi naught that will be you know exponential of uh, rho u x upon uh, tau uh, minus 1 divided by exponential of uh, rho u l upon tau. So, uh, and then minus 1. So, that way uh, you know uh, you have uh, uh, once you get these numerical results and, and then you compare with these uh, analytical uh, you know uh, result and then you can uh, compare and see that how the uh, the other differencing schemes work and how the uh, effect of convection can be seen uh, you know predominating uh, and uh, then in the you feel the need to have the use of these uh, you know uh, other differencing schemes uh, because uh, your those conditions of the um, you know transportiveness, boundedness and conservativeness needs to be satisfied and that will uh, be governed because of uh, there are many you know uh, other factors like uh, the uh, coefficient value needs to be positive then there is has to be boundedness, there has to be consistency in representing the conservativeness and all that. So, uh, so uh, I hope that uh, you will be uh, uh, you will be uh, you know uh, having some more zeal to look into this aspect and go and study uh, you know the different aspects of the other differencing schemes which uh, we will be uh, you know mentioning while dealing with the uh, flow you know uh, uh, analysis in the 10 days. Thank you very much.